I'll be right as well. <clears throat> so today's adventure starts in Cumbran. Right by the old cinema. There used to be a cinema right by here. I went in there to see Jurassic Park with my father and my brother. But this is a bit of a sore sight here. This used to be a water feature. You can still see the otter statue right here. Yeah, it's changed so much since I was a child. And up in the dome up here, which I saw in the showed you in the first clip, they used to have a a um So yeah, just in the dome up there, which I showed you in the first clip, they used to have a Woolworths in there with a downstairs cafe, uh, which I went multiple times with my parents growing up. Anyway, so we're in Cumbran, and there's a music shop 20 minutes walk away from here. There's not many music shops in South Wales anymore. So today's adventure is to check out the music shop, which is a 20 minute walk away in an industrial state. 20 minutes, straight line. And then we're gonna head down to Newport. I think I'm gonna finish it, but yeah. Let's explore a bit of rural Cumbran, check out a music shop, which is an independent business, and then head back to Newport and finish up there. Cumbran Magistrates. Right, so just behind here there's a boat in lake with a stream that goes down to the main lake where the boats are, so we're going to head down there. And then the music shop is kind of just off the park, so let's go off uh, beaten track. There's a woman there pushing her uh, trolley from her house into the shopping centre as you do. So yeah, I just spoke to a group of lads who just came out of this block here and they were just like totally off their faces. <laughs> Very polite though, but uh, in their own world. <coughs> it stinks a gas leak around you. Anyway, if you watch the Billy Moore channel, you know where it is when you see a pulled up garage. She was your crack den underneath it. So we need to get behind this industrial estate right over here. So we should be able to cut through quite nicely just by the roundabout. But uh, yeah, for those of you who haven't seen Cumbran before, this is where it's like literally like just outside the shopping centre where you've got um, uh, loads of council houses and council flats. <clears throat> Polite people though, even the local alcoholics are very nice to me now. They could have offered me a drink though. <clears throat> so yeah, we need to get behind this industrial state right by here to go into the boating lake at the far back, so for those of you who do know a bit about South Wales and businesses, Shark Bites Burgers is down there. I think it's their original established one. Uh, the one in New, uh, Newport's not open anymore. Or at least when I've passed it for the past three times, it hasn't been open then, so... Yeah. I feel like I need to keep my wits about me around here. Even though it's like, <laughs> it's just a local place to where I grow up. So when I was in college, I made loads of friends in Cumbran. I used to come here most weekends. Friends that lived around uh, uh, Crossy Keeliog. But yeah, let's keep going. So we need to take the next left at the roundabout. I don't see any openings going through this industrial estate here. So let's keep on trucking. The autumn leaves are out. So one major thing about Cumbran, 5G on your phone does not mean 5 anything. It actually means that you have no signal at all. Which is one of the perks to living around you, I guess. So we've got a science building right here, the science inside. You probably can't go in there then. So it looks like we're going to do this in reverse order now, so uh, the music shop appears to be closer to me than the park, so we'll try and do it this way. Where's the music shop? I think there's a little bridge down here, somewhere that goes over a stream. So 
go find out. Google Maps is saying that there's a little stream somewhere. So I can see where Shark Bites Burgers is, so let's see what happens. So there's the site of the original Shark Bites Burgers. I spoke bathrooms. So yeah, I think we need to take a right at some point. It's a cool bunch of build, uh, businesses around here. I'm assuming this is council maintained this big uh, old subcontractors for the council to do signage. So I found the little bridge going over a cute little stream right next to Booker's Wholesale. wonder if there's any brown trout in there. It's the other side. I just saw a little dipper flying down here though. It's a bird with a yellow tail. So I've had to come back on myself. I was literally where that white van is there, but there was just no way through. So the music shop's just on the next left here, so let's keep on trucking, baby. I'm really enjoying the, uh, the autumn leaves out today. So we're almost here, just in the industrial estate on the left here behind the bushes. Let's go, baby. So there's a family just behind me cleaning the uh, cleaning the roadside bushes out, which is uh, commendable in this day and age. I was in Abitillery this morning. Abitillery is known for its uh, pristine cleanness. I think. Is this down here to the right? I hope it's down here to the right. and find out there we go sound wave so let's go and check it out they're open until four o'clock and sound wave is on this industrial site by here i'll put details in the description when it comes to find it because there's not many music shops in south wales anymore little shop that was. I don't know if we can cut over to the field over here. Anyway, I, I'll put a little clip in here to show you around, but the woman in there, she was lovely. Um, it was her husband's shop, but he's no longer here anymore. Can you not see over here? There. Anyway, we're going to head to the boating lake now in Cumbran and head down to Newport on this adventure. So, following the road down, we found this little stream here, yeah, but unfortunately, we've got a big bin thrown in here. Yeah? And what I can hear is described as a football match going off over there. But if I keep following this road, it's going to get me to the uh, the boat in Lake Incombran. So yeah, I decided not to show too much uh, in the music shop because the woman was telling me a lot of personal stuff um, relating to myself, something I'm going through myself at the moment. So I decided not to film that in due respect, but I played some good, good guitars, good stuff in there. Played a guitar I never played before as well as a brand called a Northern Star, which is part of the Tanglewood brand if you're into your guitars. I wonder if there's any brook trout in here. Because you do get the odd brook trout that kind of lives in these sort of streams. But it depends if it dries up in the summer or not.
anyway well off the beaten track right now which is great so uh, I was hoping to have like a high, a, a more fixed narrative on the music shop there but we can walk and talk and you can come along with me and I'll just document what I see while I head towards Newport but a lot of these businesses are shut on a Saturday which is quite strange I think for a Saturday to be honest You would think these guys would be open to at least five. <clears throat> anyway, I'm hoping there's a path here. Google Maps says there's a cut in somewhere, so hopefully we'll find that. Unless there's a path on the far end there. Let's keep on going. So we're just passing the main line that comes from Cumbrian to Newport. I'll show you. But we need to go on the other side of these railway tracks. It's Robert Price, building merchant suppliers. So yeah, I hope there's no dead end here. It shouldn't be. It looks like a public right of way. But yeah, I wanna... Um, Hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel so far. There's a mix of new and old. The old content, I don't talk in that much. And you can notice that just by watching the videos. The more confident I get, um, obviously I'm gonna be talking in those videos. So you can tell if there's an old video gone up. So last week an old video with Sam Didno went up when I went up the Great Orm. I really didn't talk much in there at all. That's when I first got this camera. I just wanted to see the capabilities of it. Yeah, I want to see the capabilities of the camera. So I got some really good shots of uh, Conway Beach on that. Obviously it's autumn time now. I can't really, can't really make anything look amazing right here, but yeah. This looks like our way over the ra railway track. Some old equipment hanging around here as well. That's a wicked old bridge. Well, it's not that old. It's battered though. And then this starts the boating lake right there. And if we're lucky, we might catch a train. We might catch a train coming down from Manchester to Newport. Should probably start filming about now there's a park these are there's a big dead fish there <coughs> that's a sea bass Yeah, that's a, that's a dead sea bass there. <clears throat> that one swan lost both its fucking wings. So here's the continuation of that little brook we saw earlier, which is now opening up into a, a river by the looks of it. Well, I am intrigued why there was a dead sea bass up in the pool up there. But anyway, this is the um, the larger of the three ponds here. Sailing times, Wednesday and Sundays. So this is the larger of the two. So we're going to take a stroll down here and then I'm going to see if there's any public transport options at the far end. Jesus! 
So yeah, I didn't want to film too much up there. There were so many kids. And there's a cafe up there as well, so there's loads of families enjoying themselves. <clears throat> yes, it's cool. It's got nothing on the reservoirs as we have at my end, but uh, it helps out in Cumbran at least. So these must be uh, certified fishing areas. Just saw a rat on there then. Look at this little quack about you. I wonder if he'll jump in. There definitely has to be trout in this. There's a lot of flowers and memorial things put around the place down here. Definitely trout gear, especially along the back there. And then you've got slack waters over there, which is uh, where you would typically fish into. If you're into fishing and you want a few tips, look for the slack water. So the, the water's quite heavy here. And then where the rocks come out by here creates a slack and usually the fish hide in the slack so they don't have to um, keep themselves up with the current too much. And then you catch anything <clears throat> that goes into those areas. This duck's having a wicked time. It's a very lonely duck and now there's a dog on the other side of the bank. Yeah, what a wicked bend. Obviously wind is on the way now, so you won't see much activity from trout. Nor a lot of activity, because they do quiet down when uh, the weather gets colder. This is a wicked little part of the river. You've got a little overflow right by here. Maybe used for a bit of wastage sometimes, but this is great. Just makes me want to get my fucking rod out. I collect bricks as well from river banks, and there's a brick right there. I would be quite interested to see what factory it was made from. This is a lovely little bit of the river. <clears throat> I don't know if this is an official way out of the park or what, or if it just stops here, but just check it out. I can see some paths here. I know there's like a housing estate over there or something. Where I want to be is on the other side of the river. You can see when it does, um, when the river does get high, it probably feels this section in right there. But it looks like we're heading back to the boat inlake because the closest bus stop is 
up there. So I had him back. That was a nice little walk and I highly recommend that to anyone who uh, is in Cumbran. It's about a 20, 15, 20 minute walk from uh, Cumbran Town Centre. So anyway, my bus stop's just up by here, so let's go down to the Great Casnuis. So I assume this is my bus stop. Everything goes to Newport on there, wicked. And here we are back in Newport. So, I don't know as you walk up here, especially in the night. But uh, yeah, let's go and check out this alleyway. And I think I'm gonna call the video quits here because why not? Anyway, the narrative of this video was to go to the music shop. But uh, in due respect, I didn't do much filming in there. Anyway, let's cut up here towards the corn exchange and the pub in Keynes.